Scientists investigating a deep sea volcano have found that said volcano is an active one and it houses a massive nursery. Welcome back to Tea of the Sea, and overall, the deep ocean is a very inhospitable place where life really has to adapt to survive. However, there are places in the deep sea where life does very well relative to all the surrounding area, and that is mostly due to underwater active volcanoes and seamounts. Volcanoes and seamounts are places where magma seeps up through the Earth's mantle through the crust into the ocean, carrying very mineral rich sediment with it. And when it breaches the ocean floor, it creates very hot areas around it, and this can allow life to do very well nearby. And scientists late last year were exploring the Pacific Ocean's relatively unexplored deep sea, looking specifically for a volcano that they thought was dormant. My guess is mostly they were just looking just to see what they could find, and what they did find was pretty remarkable because the volcano was actually an active one. Being an active volcano, it was spewing mineral-rich warm water out from the ocean floor, which was harboring a large variety of life, including corals, crabs, and kind of the standard things that you see. Even more surprising for the team, led by Dr. Charisse Dupreez, they found that this volcano was the site of a gigantic nursery. Not just a nursery in general, it was a nursery for Pacific White Skates. The Pacific White Skate is one of the world's deepest living skates, inhabiting a depth range between 800 and up to 3,000 meters along the continental shelf. They are found throughout the Pacific Ocean from the southeast near the Galapagos all the way up into Oregon. And in 2018, a white skate nursery was found at a hydrothermal vent location near the Galapagos. This new nursery dwarfs the previously discovered one, with Dupree's stating that they saw hundreds of thousands, if not maybe over a million white skate eggs. And these eggs were pretty large, measuring up to about a foot and a half in size. So pretty substantial. The team believes that the skates are using the warmer waters around the volcano as a way to speed up the incubation time of the skates. The fact that the nursery by the Galapagos also is on a hydrothermal vent pretty much shows that that's what's going on. Speeding up the gestation period allows for more juveniles to make it to adulthood, and the shallow summit of the volcano basically acts as a little nursery that's safe for them to grow in before they head out into the open oceans. And the fact that there were hundreds of thousands of eggs makes this the largest Pacific white skate nursery that we know about. Granted, we only know now of two nursery locations, but this new one dwarfs the previous one, so still pretty significant. This kind of discovery doesn't necessarily do a whole lot, especially since white skates aren't really high up on the fishing list for commercial fishermen, but it does help us understand understand more about our oceans as well as the overall health of the ocean so we can learn what we need to do to protect it and keep it healthy. 